It's another thrilling season in the first division. And now you can enjoy the action all over again. The great goals. The spectacular saves. The triumphs. The disappointments. It's all captured on video. There's your team season in pictures. Goals galore and saves galore. The best and worst of the season. Plus, race for the championship. How the title was won. Football League videos, official and exclusive. And remember, last season's collection is still available. Sports Action presents the official Football League video. The Arsenal Story 1989-90. Thomas charging through the midfield. Thomas, it's up for grabs now. Thomas! Right at the end! One of the most dramatic games ever. Arsenal win the league championship. Michael Thomas's goal in the last minute of Anfield snatched the prize from Liverpool's grasp. It gave the Gunners their ninth league title. And now Arsenal are in demand. They appear in a pre-season tournament at Wembley, beating Liverpool again after disposing of FC Porto. Then, they're off to Miami for the Zenith Challenge against Independiente of Argentina. Two Rowcastle goals win them another trophy. The charity shield at Wembley, that's disappointing. Arsenal lose 1-0. Those hectic pre-season matches take their toll. Paul Davis needs an operation. Steve Bold definitely misses the start of the season. One new face at Highbury, the Icelandic international Siggy Jonsson. Leaving two goalkeepers, Reese Wilmot to Plymouth, Andy Marriott to Forest. Arsenal begin their title defence at Manchester United. United boosted by some expensive new signings. Driven in low and Steve Bruce! The new regime at Manchester United off to a flying start. Inside the second minute. Arsenal were slow to react at the set play. Steve Bruce really threw himself in and the ball sped past Lukic well the champions getting an early taste of the difficulties considerable I'm sure they will be but defending the title and Brian Robson has made a terrific run Kevin Richardson can he keep him at bay he couldn't, but Lukic did. At times last season, watchers of Manchester United felt that Brian Robson was reined in a little too much. He's so effective when he springs ahead of the ball. And he was beautifully found. And Lukic made an exceptional save. That's Hughes. This is Lukic, didn't really get there. Did Tony Adams push that? He surely did. A penalty to Manchester United. With Steve Bruce making his presence felt again in the Arsenal penalty area. The captain asked the referee for confirmation. But he knew Lukic wasn't altogether decisive. Then it came off Richardson. Keep your eye on the number six, Adams. And there he pushes Bruce. Brian McClare for 2-0. And John Lukic, incredibly, 
saves the penalty. It's his third penalty save on this ground against United. Lukic made a brilliant save, and while we're talking about that, Tony Adams has gone off, and Gus Caesar has come on. Alan Smith's up well, Gus Caesar is moving towards the drop of the ball, but Mike Duxbury got there first. In his testimonial year, and few players have deserved a testimonial more than the loyal Mike Duxbury, who has put his club before his own personal career many times in the past. And a goal! David Rocastle, Arsenal, give another twist to this captivating plot. Jim Leighton's turn to reflect. And we've had a goal aside from a corner kick routine. Manchester United looking to come again here with Duxbury. Hughes, that's a great turn, Mark Hughes! A rasping shot past Lukic. But it was the twist, the spin, that made the goal possible. He lost O'Leary, and it went under the goalkeeper. Very difficult for goalkeepers to drop when they come there. Manchester United are back in front. Webb. volley to embroider his first league game for Manchester United and with just over 10 minutes remaining this really should shore up the three points on a very big day for the club so sweetly struck Hughes Phelan. Arsenal could lose here by an increasing number. They are now 4-1 down. Brian McClure. The goals won't necessarily tell the story of the game, but the United supporters do not care about that. They came at a trickle through most of last season but they're coming as a flood now and against the champions themselves. McClare made a mess of the penalty, but not with the left foot shot high into the top corner. That's a dreadfully disappointing start. The good news, though, is that Tony Adams has recovered from illness and Adams is in the team to face Coventry and then Wimbledon. A carnival atmosphere at Highbury. The trophies are displayed to a 34,000 crowd. Another award as well. Alan Smith collects his prize for finishing last season as top scorer in the first division of the Barclays League. And now the champions against the Sky Blues. Marwood's cross. O'Leary's there. So too is Smith. And Arsenal have kept the ball. Richardson. And this is Marwood! The champions have got their first goal of the new season at Highbury and it's come from Brian Marwood. Merson. There really is a confident feel to Arsenal's football now. And they should be confident after what they've achieved. Dixon. Merson. Now Thomas. Still Thomas. 2-0 and the hero of Anfield has got a goal here against Coventry City. Here's Marwood. 
Arsenal still with plenty of players forward Sagers has lost that and recovered well Lukic looking for Marwood he'll need some help oh Willie that's a good cross Merson on very nearly an own goal It's a slow start, Arsenal mid-table, level with Spurs, Luton and Manchester United. Chelsea and Millwall are the early leaders. Now a two-week break in fixtures because of international games, Arsenal travel to Dublin for a friendly with Bohemians. Lively young striker Kevin Campbell gets a goal in a 2-1 victory. League matches resume. There's a home game against rock bottom Sheffield Wednesday. That's followed by a trip to Nottingham Forest. Masson and Arsenal have worked the set piece trick again. Adams launching himself at it. Richardson's got to it. He looks as though he was pushed. Merson stopped by Turner, but a tap in, and it was Tony Adams following in. Sheffield Wednesday really look here for the taking now from the Arsenal viewpoint. Thomas Smith. Goal! Marwood made sure. Richardson having a look to see what's on. And there's plenty on for Arsenal, including Thomas. Michael Thomas makes another run from midfield to devastating effect in the first division. able to pick their passes at will Richardson who's been very involved Rowcastle now O'Leary everyone wants a touch there will be uh, one or two amongst them they'll want a goal Arsenal not satisfied yet Richardson really does bode well for their attempts to retain the championship look at this Merson Sheffield Wednesday are well beaten and Alan Smith finally gets his first of the season it's the fifth here Lukic banging that forward into Forest territory away by Pierce. here's Dixon prepared to run at Pierce, and he's got the better of him and that's a good cross. Sutton, oh, completely missed that, and Merson has scored. 1-0 Arsenal. Clough. This is promising. Parker, confronted by Dixon. Parker, oh, yes. 1-1. One, one. Rowcastle, neatly done. Here's Smith, and Marwood and that might win it 2-1 Arsenal now a third successive home win against Plymouth in the Littlewoods Cup second round first leg Smith and Rowcastle credited with the goals can the Gunners keep that good run going two London derbies coming up against Charlton at Highbury and Chelsea at Stamford Bridge Arsenal have another corner, O'Leary going for the near post. In goes Adams. Was that a hand by Humphrey? The referee spotted it. It's a penalty to Arsenal. And Charlton protest now will be in vain. Alan Savile, the referee. And he saw that handball. Brian Marwood, six minutes into the second half. Scores! 1-0 to Arsenal. They've had to work hard for it. Richardson. And here's Winterburn. Nicely taken out by Roberts. Oh, and he was caught by Groves. And Groves will go into the book. Roberts will need attention. Very late. that's the end of Graham Roberts afternoon just 15 minutes gone 
never a pleasant sight Winterburn, here's Hayes Smith the target on the far side was that handball? yes it was well what was Moncur thinking about? Rowcastle from the spot and Besant has made a marvellous stop It wasn't a bad penalty, Besant got down very well. Nicholas with the kick. Flicked on Wilson and away off the line. By Winterburn, Wilson's header. All one for Dixon to chase. And he's in, got the better of O'Leary and chest wide of the right hand upright couldn't have been much closer so no goals but Arsenal up to third now just a point behind Chelsea and Liverpool and Arsenal go goal mad in the second leg of the Littlewoods Cup tie Michael Thomas gets his first ever hat-trick in the 6-1 demolition of Plymouth a great way to celebrate his inclusion in the England squad and now the Gunners take on newly promoted Manchester City at Highbury before away games, the big one at Spurs and Everton. First, Manchester City at Highbury. Marwood with the corner. Dixon. Groves! Beautifully done. Perry Groves, the goal scorer. Thomas. Oh, so easy. And on he goes. Smith. And Thomas is in again, this will be a great goal if he can finish it. Thomas! Brilliant! Thomas. Rose is calling for it. There he is! His second, Arsenal's third. Winterburn's gone on. That's inviting. Merson accepts the invitation. 4-0 Arsenal. Now Richardson. Played the ball in for Martin Hayes. Just wide. A great chance there for Arsenal. Oh, it 
was a nice ball threaded in there by Walsh, hit with great power by Lineker, half stopped by Torsvet, or by uh, Lukic, and cleared by O'Leary. Sheedy is McDonald, the left fullback. Newell waiting for support. That's a good ball. Nevin jumping, and again, Pat Nevin. Everton are in front. Newell finding McDonald. Is that a good game, Mike Newell? McDonald almost being invited to go on by Arsenal. Cotty, and here's McDonald for 2 0. Cotty really enjoying himself now, Tony Cotty, and Nevin's in again. Oh, it's all too easy. 3 0. And that defeat at Goodison means Everton overhaul Arsenal at the top. The Gunners dipped to fifth place. They're still only a couple of points behind, though. And now another game against Liverpool, this time in the Littlewoods Cup, the third meeting of the season. Over 40,000 packed into Highbury. Person. Impeccable finish. Substitute Alan Smith with a goal nine minutes from time to knock out Liverpool. Three days later, Alan Smith has got his number nine shirt back against Derby County. Here's Smith. Merson. Rocastle and Smith. Oh, beauty. Arsenal in front after just three minutes. Dixon and his Smith the goal scorer Quinn should have done better and he knows it Hebbard McMinn on that far side prepared to run at Dixon that's a good challenge oh McMinn's away and Goddard has equalised for Derby Johnson the substitute. There he is again. Oh, nicely done by Merson and well hit and very well saved by Peter Shilton. Thomas. Merson again with all sorts of space on that right flank. Dixon trying to get forward. Here is Dixon. Well hit. Oh, no way through, it would seem now. Hoisting one in, away by right, back in by Thomas and Campbell. Oh, took a nasty bounce and Shilton had to move quickly. Thomas and blocked on the line by Goddard. Now Arsenal against Norwich, a piece of history and a personal landmark for David O'Leary. The popular defender sets a new appearance record for the Gunners. He beats the 621 total achieved by George Armstrong. 622 not out, a marvellous achievement and O'Leary given a magnificent reception by the crowd. David O'Leary, a playing Gunners legend. Gordon. Well, it was worth a crack, and it took a deflection as well. Arsenal have only conceded one goal at home all season. That was a week ago when Paul Goddard scored here for Derby. And Malcolm Allen scores. The set piece pays off for Norwich City. In the 20th minute. So Norwich, the travelling specialist, and it actually 
came off an Arsenal head, Michael Thomas, to flick on. Gordon supplied the corner. Thomas was trying to clear it, but only set up the goal for Malcolm Allen. Rowcastle wants to shoot. It's an interesting effort too, until it was blocked. Winterburn keeping the pressure on. Quinn, beautifully down for Thomas. Exhilarating football. And I include the save in that from Brian Gunn. Quinn's layoff was splendid. So too was the shot and the handling from the Norwich City goalkeeper. Oh, one by Allen, who's really full of himself at the moment. Sherwood, Goss, oh, and Allen held off the defenders then with what Arsenal will feel was a stray elbow, and that's why tempers have been lost. O'Leary and Allen, it's been simmering, really, for a good few minutes now. And I think that Malcolm Allen was lucky to be allowed to go on. But David O'Leary, who's pointing to the damage around his eye, on the day when he breaks the club appearance record, also receives a yellow card. And certainly a foul. joins the wall. Phillips was uh, looking at the angles. Sherwood is there as well. Allen's come away now. Here's Phillips. Oh, and Lukic is beaten. It's two. Beaten by the pace on the free kick. Half an hour gone. Arsenal nil, Norwich City two. David Phillips. Fairly flew into the top of the net. <laughs> Is it back to the drawing board? Certainly a point or two to make it half time. And I think the Arsenal players might expect something of a roasting, judging by the manager's expression. Mercy. Oh, it was a little too quick for Culver House. The notebook is coming out again with the yellow card. House is going to be dealt with. And this is a little too snappy for him then. Oh, it's a corner. It was so close to a goal for Smith. Rather like the first Norwich goal, it was uh, an opponent who helped set it up. It was a flick of a Norwich player. It almost took the ball into the path of Alan Smith. Arsenal's corner. Quinn's header. And Adams! It was a very good chance. to Quinn, who had really forced his presence, and Gunn made a terrific save. Smith, the whistle's gone in Arsenal's favour, Richardson wanted to take a quick free kick, but there was no one for the home side of like mind. Now can Arsenal do in the first half just this position it's Thomas back healing for Richardson oh Gunn's lost it a goal for Niall Quinn and Quinn so pleased to be back in the side but he said before the game I do need to score to keep my place so this is a moment of rich satisfaction for him and for Arsenal. It's 2-1, 10 minutes into the second half. Gunn this time couldn't hang on, and Quinn pounced. Adams asking Smith to jump for that one. 
comes for Quinn and that has penalised Arsenal. The whistle for a free kick in their favour. If George Tyson had let play go on just for a second, he would have seen that Quinn was in a great position to get his second goal. But it's back with the free kick. Into Byrne, again off the goalkeeper and behind for the corner. <laughs> Norwich with a lead that's being threatened all the time. Gunn was more fortunate that time than he was from the Richardson free kick that led to Quinn's goal. It's a penalty. Arsenal have a penalty. The header by Quinn. Lee Dixon has never before taken a penalty in his league career. What circumstances to start taking on the job. He scores! 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> 17 minutes. A great 17 minutes in the second half for Arsenal. They're really back in it. Lee Dixon, because Brian Marwood is out of the side at the moment on his way back from injury, he's the normal penalty taker. David Rowcastle took one earlier this season but had it saved at Chelsea. Dixon took on the responsibility with great character. Sherwood thought about hitting it first time, then had a pot at goal that was deflected behind for the corner. a deeper position, here he is, it's a free header, Lukic has lost it, and it's forced in by Sherwood, and Norwich City remarkably have got back in front, another goal from a set play, Lukic is disgusted, but they're not, Gordon hit the corner pretty deep, Linigan headed down, he was unmarked, Lukic couldn't hold it, and Sherwood forced it high into the roof of the net. And it's Arsenal 2, Norwich City 3. <laughs> 13 minutes left. Arsenal immediately have forced a free kick. to another recovery well it certainly burst some of the bubble around the ground O'Leary 3-3 three, three. well would you believe it David O'Leary, the man they came to pay tribute to, got a header here and Gunn couldn't keep it out and O'Leary gets a goal for the first time in a league game for more than six years. Quinn, on goes Thomas. It's a penalty for Arsenal. Thomas with a gesture of triumph, and George Tyson is being followed now by a posse of Norwich players. Well, was Thomas backing in in the first place to Butterworth? It could have been construed as that, but the referee 
saw it the other way. And what about Lee Dixon here? Never before being asked to take on this job, and now he's got to take two in the same game. We're in stoppage time. This would turn one point into three for Arsenal. A great weight on the shoulders of Lee Dixon. And Gunner saved it, Dixon! And it's found its way in! Arsenal are in front for the very first time, and what a time to do it. And now there's mayhem at the other end. All the uh, trouble broke out because of Norwich City's frustration. I think they would feel that both penalties were on the half side. And the joy of Alan Smith, he was pushed and then reacted on Bowen. And from then on, it was fortunate for those players that the referee had his back turned. We haven't heard the last of that match or those incidents. But now two more London derbies, both against George Graham's former clubs. Millwall away, and then it's QPR at Highbury. And again, Michael Thomas. That's nicely done. Quinn finding Smith. Richardson in some space. Oh, he's overrun that. But Thomas will score. Michael Thomas. on by their fanatical support Herlock did well there here's Carter looking for the big men Sheringham 1-1 Teddy Sheringham Dixon chasing with Carter at his back Thomas support if he needs him didn't Marwood that's a nice touch Quinn good footwork from the big man who scored Arsenal are back in front. Here's Rocastle. Arsenal are trying to take the fight to Queen's Park Rangers and impose themselves on the match. And Smith with a volley here. And he's tucked away very neatly indeed. 12 minutes gone. Looking for Quinn again. He's going to be a handful. Falco looking for this one. Oh, and Adams went for the ball, but I think he caught Falco. And I think he caught him full in the face. The game for Mark Falco is over. Marwood, who makes space so cleverly to get his crosses in. Rowcastle, in goes Richardson. Well, a penalty, a penalty it is. Parker and McDonald with the Queen's Park Rangers defenders involved. Richardson in the middle of them. Dixon for 2 0. He's got it. O'Leary, Groves, O'Leary, good stuff this from Arsenal, to round it all off now in style if they can, Siggy Janssen has done just that, his first goal for Arsenal. Siggy Jonsson opens his account. Arsenal go top of the table for the first time since winning the championship. Arsenal a point ahead of second place Chelsea. The Littlewoods Cup tie at Oldham ends in defeat. Arsenal fail to come to terms with the artificial surface. And now the Gunners have two really big matches back to back against Liverpool and Manchester United. Both games screened live on ITV. At the moment it's Beardsley. Oh, and he's got past O'Leary. He's trying to get Barnes in onto that left foot. A chip across there. And uh, the copper claiming it was a handball by Dixon. And the referee has given a penalty. Dixon unsure about it, but 
the cop, I must say, reacted instantly. The referee, I think, probably looked at the linesman as well. Here's Barnes, and we may get a better view from this reverse angle shot here. It came off his hand, but uh, Dixon would probably say it was accidental, and there was no intention meant, but referee Peck has given the penalty to Liverpool. Barnes will take it. And saved! Tries to get in again, and this time it was hooked behind, fittingly, by Dixon for the corner. I think, with respect, Brian, that that was fair justice. Uh, it was a very unfortunate penalty. It was one-handed, the penalty, and it was a great one-handed save. Taken by Staunton. Now Barnes. Trying to dummy a yard out of Dixon. Rush just a fraction too high for Rush. A lovely piece of play by Barnes. It looked almost impossible uh, that he could get that ball across, but he found enough space to do it, and it was a devastating cross as well. Rush again. McMahon driving it! <laughs> conversation now, who's going to take it? Well, that's something Arsenal don't know. And Lukic would like to know. It's going to be Barnes. Curl brilliantly! of pure football skill from John Barnes. Whelan runs over it. Barnes, in true Brazilian style, floats it inch perfect wide of Lukic. Adams getting above Beardsley. Hayes to Smith. Staunton's in there, Smith! And Arsenal have pulled one back with Alan Smith. Tidy goal, but a valuable one for all that. And who knows, we might get quite a finish here now. It was a very untidy goal. It was a total mix-up, really. None of the Liverpool players going for it. Smith got his toe to it. So Liverpool lead 2-1. repercussions of that Highbury bust-up. Arsenal are fined £20,000 by the FA. Norwich are also heavily punished for their part in the incident. Let's get back to Barclays League action with games against Coventry City and then Luton Town. Harwood's corner and Arsenal have looked dangerous from these set pieces. Agrizovic struggling again. Oh and Downs got him out of trouble on the line. Great run this by Rocastle. Dixon steaming up alongside him. Oh, and they were queuing up on the far post. Adams jumping with Regis. Adams hit the bar. And Coventry still not out of trouble yet. Smith. Oh, Grzovic coming. He's not sure. And he could struggle there, it's dropped in. Well, they've had time to deliberate while the ball's been returned. Richardson plays it wide to Dixon. 
Good jump by Marwood. Here's Smith, who's tucked it away very neatly indeed. Made for him by Marwood's header. Williams with the free kick. Dowie got free. Luton have equalised. Lars Elstrup followed in. 1 1. Richardson. Merson, well played. To Rocastle. Arsenal have got players arriving on the far post. Merson is one of them. Terrific header. Dixon made the pass possible. Needs a good cross now. And Arsenal have got it. Brian Marwood. Off Thomas. Dowie. Winterburn still pursuing and pushing too. He pushed Ian Dowie. It's a penalty to Luton. Elstrup for his second. 3 2. And Arsenal not out of the wood yet here. Arsenal, top of the pile once again. Two points ahead of Liverpool. Could we be in for a repeat of last season? Now Arsenal beat Glasgow Rangers in the Zenith Data British Championship. Paul Davis, out all season, comes back with a goal. A new arrival at Highbury. Midfield man Craig McKernan signs from Mansfield Town. And now three games over the Christmas New Year period at Southampton and Aston Villa, where Steve Bold will play his first game of the season, and at home to the Palace. Let's start down at the Dell. again. Mike Curl one. Oh, it wasn't quite what he was looking for. Letizia! And Lukic did well. Case. Lukic isn't sure. Wallace. And away off the line. Well, still the danger hasn't subsided. Wallace again. Horn. Rocastle got a foot in. Here's Letizia! And another good stop by Lukic. All nicely done. Merson's in. And Flowers did very well there. Twice. Winterburn hoisting one in. Thomas struck Osman. And here's Rocastle. And Smith. Marwood. Oh, it's great stuff, this. Letizia teasing Dixon and Rocastle, and he's got away from both of them. Here's Wallace. Letizia, and again. How did that stay out? Winterburn. Marwood with space on this side. And Smith has scored. Southampton suggesting he was offside. And the referee, Lester Shapter, agrees. Paul Davis, not a popular man with the Southampton supporters. Davis. They still remember that Glenn Cockrell incident here at the Dell. Who's done well, Davis. And a good header and a very good save from Flowers to deny Smith. Case. Again teasing Lukic. Wallace has scored at last. Desperate stuff this for Arsenal. They trail by a goal to nil. Thomas and Groves again. Well saved. Here's Daly again. in the centre, Platt, oh he's done it brilliantly, wonderful goal, David Platt, a great year it's been for him, and he continues this amazing run, eight goal, eight games now in the league on this ground, 
in a row in which Platt has scored. And this must be one of the best. It was a brilliant turn then. A terrific technician who lost David O'Leary and buried it past John Lukic. Oh, Adams, a shot's on here. Smith. And now Merson's free, and Nigel Spink just got down in time for a fine save. But the goalkeeper was exposed then. Merson with plenty of room close to goal to set himself for the volley, unattended. Ormondroyd, is it Platt again? It still could be David Platt, and Tony Adams was able to stand in the line of the shot to save Arsenal. And Villa break free from the shackles to have a corner. Daly, maybe Villa will score from it. Derek Mountfield, they have! Arsenal in a line, look at the linesman. Lukic in disbelief. Just at a time when Aston Villa's lead looks so fragile, they spring the Arsenal offside trap with Tony Daly's cross and a solid header from Derek Mountfield. He was unmarked because Arsenal expected the whistle. They didn't get it. It's Aston Villa 2, Arsenal 0. disappointed about the energy that his team have expended but the end product hasn't been there there might be a goal here though simply through weight of numbers Groves that's Adams but there still may be time 2-1 and he wants to get the game restarted has it come too late for Arsenal Groves got the cross and Adams was there first. Took a flick off McGrath on the way in. Smith and Adams making their run from the edge of the area. The corner dropped short of them though. Crystal Palace pushing out. Dixon plays it back. Merson might be in here. Pass Martin but steered off the line by Jeff Hopkins. Dennis. Now Barber. That's clever play by Mark Bright. And Lukic just stretched enough to stop the header dropping over him. Hopkins. Smith making up the ground. Oh, and a mistake by Hopkins with catastrophic consequences for Crystal Palace. It should have been Hopkins' ball. But Smith kept on chasing and hoping for a mistake. It arrived, an Arsenal lead. Thomas Dixon charges on, and Thomas has found him. Lee Dixon for Arsenal. 2 0. And that was a delightful goal with this sweeper system that Arsenal are using again now. The fullbacks do have tremendous freedom to go forward and Dixon relishes such opportunity. Wonderful goal. Well, Bright and Wright battling for it. And tucked away by Alan Pardew. Palace with the tide running against them, it seemed. Might have stemmed it a little here. What a scramble. Arsenal should have cleared it, but they didn't. Pardew scored. Thomas. It's three. And Tony Adams got a touch along the way. Arsenal restore a two-goal cushion. Thomas's volley flicked in by Adams. Adams, now Groves, bold, Smith, 
Forward. What a first half for Arsenal. We've now had five goals in a 20-minute spell. Pemberton with the free kick, and Crystal Palace have shown a lot of character in the second half. Rowcastle for Arsenal, who've got some room in which to manoeuvre here. Two to the left of Thomas. This is Groves. Oh, against the post. It's a corner. Groves! Two chances for him in a matter of seconds. But the strikers for Arsenal not quite as sharp in the second half. Still an impressive win over Palace. It sets the Gunners up perfectly for their FA Cup tied Stoke. Arsenal win 1 0. Now Quinn is the scorer. And now there are games at Wimbledon and then Spurs at home. Let's go across London to South West 19. Big crowds at Plough Lane for this London derby. Adams striding away for Arsenal. Dixon well forward and here's Perry Groves. Oh and he's hit the post. Smith jumping. Dixon well forward again. He's done well there. And that's a good ball in. And he's Groves again and Sagers hung on very well. Bennett, the new boy. That's a good run. Brzezinski, he's offside surely. He's scored, but that won't count. Groves battering away in the midfield. Winterburn, oh, caught by Young. Referee's way of play on. Well, draw your own conclusions. Both of them were stretching. And Winterburn came off worse. Let's hope it's not too serious. Driven forward. Get used to seeing that at Flowling. Oh, Bennett. Bennett has scored on his debut. 1-0 Wimbledon. Mickey Bennett. Michael Thomas. Kevin Richardson. This is Lee Dixon. Samway is closest to him for Tottenham, but not preventing the pass. And Michael Thomas has found Groves. Groves and Polston saw a chance of getting the ball, but couldn't actually make it happen without fouling Groves. And it's always a worry when players go down when they've been tackled as they're turning. Knee joints and ankle joints take the full brunt of the challenge then and that might be the case with Perry Groves here Groves is okay Arsenal have the free kick Adams peels away on the far side here he comes round the back and Steve Bold and Perry Groves against the bar and Groves nearly made Tottenham pay in full for that foul on him. The free kick was cleverly executed as Adams set off and was well found and it was a good knockback. Bold thought he might have a strike at goal. Groves did beat the goalkeeper but not the bar. Samway's good running here from the back by Sedgley. Lineker coming in now. Oh, fantastic football with no reward. It was a brilliant run. To meet the ball delivered perfectly by Sedgley. And the inside of the post, along the line and out. No wonder he looks skywards.
George Graham, the present Arsenal manager, was a player here, of course. In 1967, he actually got married on the morning of an Arsenal Spurs game. His best man at the wedding and a Spurs opponent later that day was Terry Venables, the current Spurs manager. The pair still great friends, but earnest rivals at the moment, of course. Sedgley couldn't afford any slip. Richardson heads on, Groves chase it. And Vanden Howe scrambles it for another corner. And He's not happy with referee Vic Callow. Bold is there again. Smith coming from deep. Bold glances it on, and that's Adams! Oh, the captain! Arsenal, to their delight, have finally forced a way through in the North London derby. So the force of numbers at the corner kick. But what a difficult shot it was to take from Adams and how superbly he managed to manufacture a drive that sped in off the post. It bounced high, he kept the ball down, in it went. 1-0 Arsenal. Oh, and Thomas might still get the ball. He looks to chip towards that, and very nearly did. It was a perfect response by Thomas because he'd lost a lot of the momentum in his running because John Polston just got a piece of the ball there. But Thomas then improvised. Torsfeld had started to come out. The Arsenal man thought he could chip the goalkeeper, but Torsfeld used his full height to keep it out. Arsenal's form rather erratic. They're still well in the hunt, though, in third place, but Villa and Liverpool are putting together really good runs. There's a newcomer to the staff at Highbury. Defender Colin Pates comes in from Charlton, the fee half a million pounds. And Pates sees his new team held to a goalless draw by Queen's Park Rangers in the FA Cup. And then the side managed by Don Howe knocks Arsenal out of the cup in the replay. Now Arsenal go on the road. Games at Sheffield Wednesday, Charlton and Queen's Park Rangers, an immediate chance to avenge that FA Cup defeat. First, let's go to Hillsborough and a debut for Colin Pates in for the injured Nigel Winterburn. Sheffield Wednesday starting their second year under Ron Atkinson and wondering when they're going to get some reward from their fluent football in recent matches. They've been good enough here to beat Liverpool and Aston Villa and there's a promising start. Oh, it's an own goal by Bold. A sensational start. Steve Bold. Rufal and regretting his first touch of the ball. Arsenal caught absolutely cold. Nigel Worthington headed it back, but it was Bowles' own goal and an emphatic one. Reed. Mackenzie's coming up here. Here is Steve Mackenzie. Lukic right behind it. Merson's in. Good effort. Boulder stayed on his feet and made a very good save. Smith. Oh, he's in. And another very good stop from Bob Boulder. Smith jumping. Here's Campbell, the substitute. Great chance. And Boulder having an inspired afternoon. Wegerly, Rangers streaming forward, here's Bardsley, Clark the target, and Ray Wilkins, his first goal for Rangers, and they go in front. Richardson chasing that, no problems. Well now there is, Wegerly's in, this might be two. Oh, coolly taken by Roy Wegerly.
Another setback at Loftus Road. This really is a worrying sequence for Arsenal now. The Gunners haven't won or scored in the last five games. They're down to fourth in the table. Ten points adrift of Liverpool, just one game in hand. The Gunners must start scoring and winning to stand any chance of catching the leaders. Now it's Nottingham Forest, the team immediately above them in the table. The first match at Highbury for over six weeks. Among the substitutes, the exciting striker, Kevin Campbell. Richardson with a kick. Bold on the near post, often the target. And Adams running in on the edge of the penalty area. Smith is there as well. Oh! They all stood and waited. And Groves was the quickest to react. And Arsenal's goal famine is over. After all those games and all those hours without a goal, it was that simple downward header that finally broke the deadlock. Almost five and a half matches without scoring, and Terry Groves has finally allowed the Highbury crowd to cheer a goal. Dixon on the other side. Thomas forward. Campbell chasing it. But there's not many quicker than Walker, but Campbell's beaten him to it. And still Campbell. Oh! And the shot by Dixon is still in danger, and Sutton did well and bravely as well to go down with the feet flying all around him. Laws is injured. Campbell caused all the danger here. Forced his way to the byline. Sutton couldn't only half save that. As it spun out, it was Dixon who got the shot on target. Smith couldn't dig it out for a shooting opportunity. Laws went in with his own goalkeeper and fell over him, and that's how he got injured. Looking for Smith, and he won it well. Dixon's in there. This is Campbell. Corner. And I know George Graham felt that uh, he had to time it right to put Kevin Campbell in the team, but Arsenal lacking so many goals. He didn't want to put too much pressure on him. A young man of whom he has great hopes for the future. But he's been really lively here. This is Richardson again, into Smith, flicked on towards Campbell, yes! The smile of a very satisfied young man, and the Arsenal crowd believe that will be one goal of many more in this man's career. And how well he took it. Again, a lovely build-up by Arsenal, and what a great little through ball that was by Smith. Walker couldn't control it, Campbell had the confidence to go for the far post, and Arsenal have three. Parker, that's a good little ball for Clough, good tackle. Well, I thought it was, I cannot agree with the referee's decision, I have to say. I thought that was a very clean challenge by Tony Adams on Nigel Clough, and I must say, in my book, Forrester lucky to get a penalty there. Well, let's have a look at it again from the camera behind the goal. He made contact with the ball. There has to be intent before a penalty can be given. And in my opinion, he was intending to win the ball and no more. But the referee's decision is the one that matters, and he's given a penalty, and Nigel Cuff himself will take it. Luke 
Lukic waits. And Lukic saves it. And frankly, I think justice has been done. Well, he's made a name for himself for saving penalties over the years, John Lukic. In fact, he might have to save another one because the referee has said that he moved too soon. Well, he probably did marginally, but what goalkeeper doesn't? Well, Mr Nixon is not popular now in Highbury. Having made that splendid save, he's got to face the penalty again. What well, astonishing drama in the final couple of minutes here. Nigel Pop again against Lukic. And he's missed it. Well, isn't it astonishing? Nigel Clough misses twice from the spot, and Lukic, in the end, and I have to repeat it once more, has seen justice done, in my opinion. Clough blasting the shot, just skimmed the bar, but it was always travelling skywards. Arsenal's first win in six games. Can they keep the momentum going at Manchester City? City desperate for points in a bid to stay up. Dixon, Arsenal with plenty of players forward, Dixon shoots, and it was a rasper too, but Ward is able to find Lake, he made a nice little dart ahead of the ball initially to be able to get possession, Megson doing likewise, oh and David White, it's a splendid goal! Redmond crossed it. Oh, and Brian Marwood swept it in. And Redmond wonders why he did that. Arsenal are level, and Manchester City have played a major part in the goal. Three minutes into the second half, and Redmond thought he'd find his own goalkeeper here. But all he found was Brian Marwood, and that was real opportunism. 1-1. Desperate mistake for City, a much needed goal for Arsenal. Hayes, Campbell going to the left, the pass is on, is the goal on for Campbell? No! Clipped in by Lake. Oh, and it... Brilliant save, but White was following in, it was Heath who had the shot. But that's got to go down as two more points surrendered. Arsenal's away form, really, indifferent compared to last season. Are the team complacent? Let's hear from John Lukic. No, I don't think so. Um, I think the lads come in every week and polish the medals all together. It's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. I, I, it's always difficult, I suppose, and, and I've heard it said by uh, different people that have won the championship, like Bob Wilson, for instance. And Bob says this, the, the following season it's always difficult to maintain some sort of momentum. And uh, if you look at the results this season, I think that that's true. Uh, but I mean, I don't think there's consciously a different attitude in the change room. I think everybody is pretty much the same. I think, all right, it might be subconsciously, but I mean, you'll have to have a word with a psychiatrist about that. <laughs> And no shrinking away from the next opponents. It's the champions of the second division. Chelsea, managed by former Arsenal coach Bobby Campbell. Chelsea enjoying a really good season too. Groves with the throw. Smith's the target. Problems here for Chelsea. Away off the line by Wilson. Richardson. And again, Wilson the saviour. Winterburn with a kick for Arsenal. Oh, that's come off Besson's legs. The big keeper got lucky there. Dixon. Here's Bumstead. Good turn. Oh, and Bumstead with a surprise for the champions. 1-0 Chelsea. Arsenal's first home defeat. It hurts. Arsenal are still third, six points behind Liverpool, now 11 away from the Villa. One consolation is both those teams must visit Highbury next month. The David Seaman transfer falls through. John Lukic refuses to go to QPR in part exchange. One player leaves Highbury, Niall Quinn. He goes to Manchester City for £700,000. Arsenal really can't afford to drop any more points as they go to Derby County and then it's Everton at home. Thomas 
got there first. Dixon. Here's Hayes. And Groves getting in an early cross. Smith has jumped well. Oh, hesitation at the back. And Martin Hayes has cashed in on that. For Scythe. Well, did he handle it? It didn't really matter because Arsenal had seized the ball and the initiative with Groves. And here's Campbell, it's two, and Derby will be furious with themselves, and for Scythe in particular. If only Arsenal could have played like this in away matches more consistently this season, as they did when they won the championship, they'd be better placed. Campbell, Smith off the bar, it's going to be a goal for Hayes that counts, even though Smith looked offside to me, standing right on the line. March. Looking for Harford. They've got it down for Rob Briscoe with a belter. Potty jumping. There's Adams. Richardson. Arsenal raising the pace all of a sudden. Perry Groves. Thomas is on the far side. And Alan Smith getting forward quickly. Here is Smith. Oh, that's inch perfect. And they've got to be to beat Neville Southall. Smith again. And again. Oh, it was deflected and Southall did well with Davis coming in. Smith's looked lively this afternoon on the score sheet for the first time since New Year's Day. Thomas and Nevin giving chase. Nevin's got the better of him. Oh, was that handball? Everton thinks so. Cottage shot is blocked. Well, let's have another look at it. As Nevin cut inside. Now, was this handball by Bald? Well, it wasn't given. Two excellent wins. The Gunners are right back on course. They trail Villa and Liverpool by six points. Both teams, though, still to visit Highbury. It's Aston Villa who Arsenal face next. A week later, it's Liverpool. In between, an away game at Palace. The next eight days then absolutely crucial to the Gunners' championship challenge. Campbell to Groves. Will do much more. McGrath well behind it. Only Cascarino up in a claret and blue shirt though. He's getting a bit of support from Platt. Now this could be interesting. Platt has pulled away. Price has gone through for Villa. A great chance for Villa. Chris Price has done it on the breakaway. Great play by Cascarino. Price now right in the clear, kept his nerve wide of Lukic into the corner of the net. Grace throw, Lukic has come a long way and didn't get a good punch on that. Well, Arsenal survive. Nice touch. And Dixon, well forward. It's a good start by Martin Hayes, has put Arsenal in front. Lee Dixon popped up on the left-hand side of the box. Hayes scored, Thorn stretching. And that's not an encouraging sight with Palace's FA Cup final appearance on the horizon. Hardy banging one forward. Thompson chasing, he's done well there. Bright is up, here is Bright, and Gray's arriving. Well struck, and Palace deserved that. That was a push by Hussein on Smith, a free kick to Arsenal. Taken quickly, it comes from Merson, and he scores! Paul Davis caught the ball out with that free kick. And 
Merson finish it off in magnificent style. It's not often you get Liverpool caught out the way they were there. Look, they're not really paying attention as Davis takes that free kick. Merson takes it in his stride and hooks it brilliantly wide of Grobola. Five minutes now left. Liverpool with home games against Chelsea this Saturday to come, then home against Queen's Park Rangers, home to Derby County and away to Coventry. Aston Villa with three to play at home to Millwall this Saturday, home to Norwich and then finishing up away to Everton. And Barnes now. Shot charge down. Rosenthal trying to get once more to that byline. Gets there. Nickel crossed in once more. Barnes. It's there. John Barnes. was a goal that was always coming in the last quarter of an hour or so as Liverpool really applied the pressure. That very disappointing sequence ends any chance Arsenal have of retaining the title. They've got to build for the future now and with manager George Graham talking of bringing in new talent, the players really can't afford to treat the remaining fixtures lightly. It's Luton, Millwall, Southampton, and Norwich, the last four games of the season. Chris. Oh, and Winterburn wasn't decisive. Ian Dowie was, though. A precious goal for Luton. Breaker. Tim Breaker. Wants it back, he's made a galloping run here and kept the ball in play, behind Tony Adams. Black's in the middle, Black's got the goal. Arsenal cut apart. Smith, showing strength and some subtlety in the pass as well. Marwood's cross, and Paul Davis! Met it brilliantly coming through the pack. David Rocastle has got quite a lot to prove over what's left of the rest of the season in an England sense, and he's picked out Merson and Arsenal have got a second. They race really the length of the field. away from Adams, the shot's on for Goddard and it was a useful one too. Winterburn, floating it high once more towards Smith, knocks it down well. Oh, Bold was in there, Smith is in there, oh a terrific save. Well, goals haven't come easily for Alan Smith over the last two or three months, but that was an excellent uh, shot of his and a lovely piece of goalkeeping. A quickly taken shot, well guided towards the far corner. Good work by Flowers. Horn. Well, two against two, and they've got Horn up, so Southampton indeed has three up. Play through for Horn, and a goal for Southampton. A classic break. Supported superbly by Letizia, but a terrific run by Barry Horn. His sixth goal of the season, Letizia on the run, and the perfect pass. And under Lukic's body, and Southampton go into the lead. Taken by Winterburn, up towards Bowl, picked on by him. And they're claiming out. the Southampton penalty area. Well, let's have a good look at this one. They claim a handball by Ruddock there. So, Dixon, when it's all died down, can he score this equaliser now for Arsenal? 1-1! complaining about that penalty award although on the slow motion it did look very much as though the ball had been touched by Ruddock's hand before it went across and out of play and Dixon making no mistake from the penalty spot to bring it up to 1-1
Merson played in now. Rocastle's in there. Rocastle! A birthday gift to the man who didn't start only as a substitute. But he's come on and he's proved the point. And Rocky Rocastle makes it 2-1 to Arsenal. Suddenly Arsenal had two free here. Davis and Rocastle, and it was Rocastle who took the initiative and planted into the back of the net. And the best Arsenal can achieve this season is third place if they win here. But Mark Bowen going at them now and beating Lukic. Campbell. That's a useful turn. Smith has tucked in the equaliser. Fleck for Rosario. Fleck going on through the middle. Rosario slips it through to him. The flag has stayed down. Oh, it's an open goal for Rule Fox. Smith. A sweet turn. And that's the sort of form that Alan Smith has been striving to recreate. A great goal. So, a draw at Norwich in the last game. Really, it's the Gunners' away form that let them down this year. Arsenal finished the season in fourth place. Alan Smith is top scorer once again. He gets 13 goals. The overall total, though, well down on the championship season. Michael Thomas and Paul Merson, they get 15 between them. And David O'Leary also features on the scoring charts with a rare goal on the day he broke the Gunners' appearance record. O'Leary, 3-3!